Big congratulations to Na J comic fam. We're talking about Cariente Funny Books. Another week, another list of the hottest comic books defining this generation of collectors. Jem, hit him with number 10. What's going on, Tom? You know it be that Werewolf by Night issue 32, the first appearance of Moon Knight, and we've got some banger sales, although not the highest sales. We got an origin, we got a first appearance, we got a tough book in any grade, a very wanted collectible. We got a teaser this past week on Disney Plus Day. It looks gritty, it looks dark. I am so hyped. Jem, what did you think? Yo, it looked crazy. We saw a lot of Oscar Isaacs. We saw him in full Moon Knight costume, beating some guy down, Moon Knight flying through the air. And at the end, when he kind of comes through, changing from one personality to the next, not knowing where he's at with the circle of bodies around him, it looks super dark. Now, this is a pricey comic book. Made great copies have been selling for above $1,000 for quite some time. However, since the teaser in the last seven days, we have seen a uptick two times the amount of copies sold in the last seven days. Not for low-grade copies. For copies that are worth $1,000 and more, this book is flying off the shelf. At least the eBay shelf. Now, this one's kind of weird because we're not talking about record-breaking sales. It's actually the second highest sale because we had a sale of $2,280 for a CGC 5.5 back in August with this new sale of $2,100, so still maintaining that same value. Now, the reason why we're bringing it up because in just January, this book was selling for $875 on the high end. And we can say the same thing about the recent 9.4 sales. Back in June of this year, the market leader was set at $19,500. This past week, we saw the second highest sale at this grade for 15 k Considering back in March, the price was set at $5,700. This comic book is still on the rise. I can't wait to see how far it goes as we approach the show. Yeah, especially when you consider that between 2016 and 2020, 9.4s consistently sold between three and five thousand dollars. In June, when this record was set for nineteen thousand five hundred, we have seen ten consecutive sales since then that all exceeded the 10k marker. Hit the subscribe, slap the like button. You know we got a giveaway on deck, and at the list at number nine, we have some what Eros to talk about or is it Thanos Iron Man 55 the first appearance in full of Thanos the cameo appearance of Eros and the first full appearance of Drax the Destroyer that's right number nine on the list brings us Iron Man 55 which should be no surprise for anybody who stayed for the post credit scenes of the Eternals it's funny how a book can spike for a completely different reason it's always typically been hot because of Thanos to a lower extent Drax the Destroyer but now Eros Star Fox is making this book break all types of records. We've been seeing steady increases for this comic book, modest gains and relevancy since the Eros information started leaking with a 3.0 that matched its all time high at $450 met for the second time this week since June. I still think there's wind in these sales. Yeah, the higher grades are kind of maintaining the same value, moving up just slightly. A CGC 9.2 sold for $2,800 back in October. It's up 4%, now selling for $2,900. And then the 9.4 sold for $3,201 back in September, up just 1%, but selling for $3,240. Like I said, basically maintaining and holding steady. Now, we could have put another comic book here, but I really like the information provided by Key Collector on why it didn't make it. So, let's chat about Amazing Spider-Man issue number 159. Jen, is this even a key? Yeah, I'm going through my mental Rolodex. ASM 159? Not ringing a bell. This past week, there was an auction for an ASM 159 that hit Comic Link. A 9.8 standard direct market copy, not the 30 cent variant because that could make the difference, but that's not what we're talking about today. Now, that record sold for $2,200. Staggering. Unbelievable, especially when you consider the recent eBay and Heritage sales. Take a look at this. We had an eBay sale for $290, $275, another for $275, and a Heritage auction that ended at $216. Why would this book see a 1,000% uptick? Can you think of any reason, Jim? 
Yeah, when you see a book like this sell for much more than it normally does, you assume there's some type of uniqueness, some type of rarity to it, whether it's a Mark Jewelers variant, a double or triple cover, or maybe a manufacturing defect. But like you said, there's no distinguishable difference between this and a regular ASM 159. Now, the other thing is with Comic Link, they purge their sales. They don't keep the historical record, so we can't even go back to take a look at it. And it gets even more interesting, Jem, because take a look at this quote from Key Collector on the Hot 10 this week. After analyzing the certification numbers, there were nine copies of The Amazing Spider-Man 159 graded back-to-back -back during the same time frame and all received 9.8s with white pages. Curious. Yeah, it sounds like somebody was trying to play around having 10 copies, put one on the market, buy it for way over what it's worth, and then hope that the other nine sell for the same. Considering there's no historical record, this is the spot to do it on. This is why you have to hit that subscribe button, comic fan, because we're putting the work in, key collectors putting the work in to monitor comic books and to pick and choose what makes our hot 10 list so we don't steer you wrong. At the list at number eight, we got another key to talk about. Now, this is an amazing Spider-Man book that is a key issue. We're talking about ASM 101, the first appearance of Morbius the Living Vampire. And I got to tell you, I have so much more faith in this film after seeing that trailer. Now, I do have a Jared Leto bias, so I was probably more excited than most people. But after seeing this trailer, seeing Jared Leto's face transform as his thirst for blood grows, I'm all in on this book, and the prices be moving quick. We have a 2.0 for a book that made number two on our Hot 10 last week, go for $300 last week, up 33% this week for 400 then we had a 3.5, which sold for $450 back in August, up 9%, now selling for $490. Now, we told you about the 8.5 record breaker last week. It sold for $2,450, and that was up 13% then. Well, this week's record breaker is for an 8.0, going for $1,888 in August, now up 2%, selling for $1,920 easy. Next up the list. At number seven, Amazing Spider-Man number 12, the third appearance of Doc Ock. Man, Spider-Man is dominating this list, and there's been a lot of renewed interest in Dr. Octopus ever since we saw Alfred Molina reprising his role as Otto Octavius in the No Way Home trailer. Another cool little tidbit about this book, besides being the third appearance of Dr. Octopus, is there's a reference to the creators of Spider-Man, Stan Lee and Steve Ditko, with their names merged together to create Lee Dit Inc., a.k.a. Lee Ditko, in the comic book. A fictional company named after the creators. I love it. It's those types of things that get collectors excited. And this past week at the Golden Age Guru's claim sale on his IG, come join us, by the way, we do it every single month. I brought so many random Dr. Octopus books, not necessarily keys, but just cool covers. They flew off the rack. People are hunting for those iconic classic covers. And the third appearance, well, People are after that one too. A 1.5 going for 293 back in April is up 20%, now selling for 353. The 4.5 back in May could have been secured for $479. That's up 4% hitting the $500 marker. And then we have the 5.5 hitting 700 back in September, now up 29% this week going for 905 bucks. All right, but enough about Spider-Man. Let's move on to number six on the list. And we're talking about Daredevil issue 131. The first appearance and origin of Bullseye. Actually, Russ sold one of these at the last claim sale, and it was on the rack for less than five minutes. We have a 5.0 going for 175 back in April, climbing up 71% this past week, hitting 300. The CGC 8.0, which sold for $410 in July, is up 2%, now selling for 418 Then we have that gorgeous 9.8. One came to market back in June for $4,485. That's up 11% now selling for $5,000. Jim, do you think this is a situation where members are trying to just secure what villains that they like that have hit the screen in the past again before it's too late? Or do you think it's the Charlie Cox spec that Daredevil, the Defenders, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage may be reintroduced to the MCU, thus likely seeing this character get a reprisal? Yeah, that's definitely what I think it is. Collectors are hoping to see Bullseye done right in the MCU. There's already rumors of Charlie Cox reprising his role as Matt Murdock. And in the big epic finale of the Chip Zdarsky Daredevil arc, Bullseye is one of the main villains. 
Use code TOM101 on the best comic app in existence to learn, to haunt, to catalog, to get suggested retail pricing. We're talking key collector comics available for both Androids and iPhones. Expand that comic knowledge, support what we do, and get better on the hunt. Now, next at the list at number five, we've talked a bunch about key comic books that are spiking. We've talked about the interest in second and third appearances. We've talked about classic covers, but what about key artists' appearances? We're talking Daredevil, issue number 16. Yeah, that's right. I don't think this book is on the list because it's the first appearance of the Masked Marauder, but it's the first time that we saw John Romita Sr. draw Spider-Man, which he was basically known for after this. Taken on the reins after Steve Ditko pieced out. We have a 5.5 back in July going for $325, up 20% this week, selling for $389. Then we have the CGC 8.0. It sold for $800 in September. That's up 38%, now selling for $1,100. The 8.5 sold for $1,000 back in September. That's up 35%, selling for $1,350 strong. At the list at number four, Silver Surfer issue number four, the first battle between Thor and Silver Surfer. Not only is it an iconic cover, but Diamond Select recreated it with this sick diorama. So cool. This book at a 9.8. We talked about this back in June when it broke $90,000. Yeah, there's only 25 copies in a 9.8, and it's always been a coveted book. But I think with all the Mephisto rumors and this being its second appearance, really helped push this one over the top. What's also curious is that Silver Surfer 3, the first appearance of Mephisto, also had a 9.8 record breaker over the last year, November 2020 to be exact, and that hit 38,400, quite a bit less than this copy, especially when you consider that there are nine copies of Silver Surfer 3 at a 9.8 versus that 25. This is the fifth time this book has shown up on one of our lists in the last 15 months, and you got to consider it's not even a first appearance. I mean, it's the second appearance of Mephisto, but it's just a classic cover. We had an ungraded copy break records over this past week. The last ungraded high record was set back in May for $1,099, up 61%. It must have been gorgeous, now selling for $1,773. I suspect it's already on its way to Florida as we speak to get graded. And on to the graded copies. A CGC 1.0 sold for $41 back in 2009. It's up 571% selling now for 275 Then the 9.0, a book that sold for $22.50 back in August of 2020, up 65% selling for $3,720. Now at the list of number three, we have Thor 134. The first appearance of Man Beast. However, his creator, a bit more important, the first appearance of the High Evolutionary. Yeah, the High Evolutionary is responsible for so many things in the Marvel Universe, especially symbiotes. And I have a feeling we'll definitely see the High Evolutionary in the MCU. The High Evolutionary likes to mess with animals, so Butch, you better stay away from this guy. However, he also has ties to Rocket Raccoon, which we know just from James Gunn that he had an interest of providing more of a backstory to Rocket and this is the gentleman who bestowed the name Adam Warlock to our gold skin cosmic hero. Multiple reasons to spec on this book. A 3.5 back in February went for only $75. That's up 105% this week, selling for $154. A 5.5 sold for $400 back in September, and that's up 38%, now selling for $550. And the 6.5 high sale was also set back in September. I'll remind the community that an inside source told Key Collector Comics that High Evolutionary will be in Guardians of the Galaxy 3 and will play a major role, but will not be the primary villain. Well, that $484 high then is up 11% this week, now selling for $535. Next on the list. At number two, a repeat offender, Fantastic Four Annual, number one. The origin of the Fantastic Four retold, as well as Namor discovering Atlantis. Yeah, the first appearance of Krang and Lady Dorma, not really the big selling point of this book. It's the Namor on throne. It's this classic cover, which we talked about. It was number seven on our last week's top 10 list. The 2.0 went for $122 back in May 2020. That's up 186% this week, selling for $349. The 4.5, that went for $579 as recently as October. That's up 12%, selling for an all-new high of $650. This is a thick book. It's tough in any grade, but especially high grade. 
Then the highest grade, the 7.5, which sold for $810 back in March, is up 110%, more than doubling up, selling for $1,698. Hit that like, slap the subscribe button, Comic Fan. We've been doing this video for over 15 months, every single week, without skipping a beat. Hit the link in the description and join the mystery mail call. My excuse to send you comics every single month, $35 plus shipping, and we have two exclusives going out to every box in December. However, I'm going to Hulk smash and wait for the second announcement. One per box. We're teaming up for the first time ever, Johnny Desjardins, to get every member a variant of in regards to the matter of Oswald's body, the brand new Boom Studios conspiracy book. Hit the link in the description and join the community. And Jem, hit him with the number one book in the cosmos. That's right, we're talking about the hottest comic book in the world, Avengers issue 62, the first appearance of Umbaku. This book made the trending list this past week. We saw an increase in copies sold of 425% after rumors have continued leaks being distributed on the internet that M'Baku is actually the one in line to take on the mantle of Black Panther. It sounds like Shuddy isn't a done deal, whether it's because of PR problems, injuries on set, or in general, just the torch being passed down to another famous member of the MCU. We have a CGC 5.0, a book that sold for only $95 in April, up 163%, now selling for $250. And that was one of two records at that grade that were broken this past week. The 6.5 went for $156 back in May, surpassed twice this week, one for a $300 sale, and another for an increase of 111% since that May record being set of 329. And finally, we have an 8.5 record breaker. However, stay tuned because it was outdone the same day that this list was created. The CGC 8.5 also had two record-breaking sales. It sold for $240 back in April, and then we had a high sale for $450. Then, at a 150% increase, we have the record-breaking sale of $599. And I suspect that 8.5 record is going to be short-lived because within hours of this list being created, hours of this sale being recorded, we had an 8.0 sell in the market for $700, $100 more at a half a grade point less. Hit the comment section. Let me know what you think about this list. Comment, and it'll enter you to win a Sabine Rich She-Hulk issue number one exclusive. And as always download whatnot make sure to follow me on there i'm going to be doing a live auction not this wednesday but next wednesday november 24th starting at 5 p.m eastern to set off whatnot wednesday and oh yeah geek responsibly and stay minty fresh enough said we got two other videos for you to enjoy link in the description to follow both jam and myself on whatnot we're bringing the heat dollar bid starting auctions that last 60 seconds long Keep these other two videos while you're, you know, taking a gander. We made them for you. Have a great week.